National Secret Police. on the octopus and his man on the Sahara, Speed, Clint, and Barney start for the criminal's base by caravan, disguised as Arab merchants. Carlos returns from Leopoldville with Mr. Buchanan and lands his plane at the night camp of the boys. Just as they are about to pack up and begin their journey once more, they are attacked by desert raiders, and we find them now trying to fight off the attack. They don't like that machine gun so much. They've fallen back. Uh, my landing must have drawn them here, Barney. Or the better you have to guide me. But they did not know I had a machine gun mounted in the plane. Nope. Probably thought you were some explorer wandering around loose. Gosh, I wonder how Clint's getting along. Never you mind about him, Speed. He's probably hurting them legionnaires around where they'll do the most good. You're lucky Captain Rinaldi sent some of his men along disguised as camel boys, or it might not have been so easy to fight the raiders off. Ain't so sure they are off yet, Speed. They've retreated all right, but that's no sign they won't come back. Well, we can be reasonably sure, Barney. These wanderers of the Sahara do not lay siege to a caravan as a rule. If they cannot conquer it in the first attack, they leave it alone and seek a more unprepared quarry. Swell. If that's the case, we can pick up our stuff and be on our way again. Now that we're on the last lap of the race, I can hardly wait for the finish. But I hope it ain't mine. Can we get out of the plane now, Carlos? Safe enough. And I want to see what's happened to Clint. See, Speed. But first, let us see how Senor Buchanan is, eh? Yeah, he's got his eyes open, all right. Oh, oh Madre de Dios, Barney. You did not think he would sleep through all these excitement, did you? Well, how was I to know? If he was weak enough, he might. But he is almost well. Are you not, Senor Buchanan? Oh, uh, yes, Carlos. And how glad I am to see you and Mr. Dunlap again, Speed. We're sure glad to see you, too, Mr. Buchanan. Hey, you're looking a lot better than you did. We had a surprise party for you and everything. An attack from desert raiders. Is that what it was? Yeah. Uh, waking from a sound sleep, I thought I was in the midst of a gang war. Well, in a manner of speaking, you were, Senor. But the raiders have gone now. If you are ready, we will help you from the plane. Yes, I am more than ready. Where's the stretcher to carry him, Carlos? Oh, Senor Buchanan does not need a stretcher anymore, Barney. He is now able to walk. Here, will you take his other arm? You bet. And I'll open the door. Easy there. Look out for that chair. Uh, yes, I, I see it. For speed. Everything all right? Yeah, fine, Clint. We're coming out now. How about you? Uh, all present and accounted for. And we came off easy in that scrape. Well, Mr. Buchanan, on your feet at last. Uh, <laughs> yes, Mr. Barlow, and very happy to be here, I can tell you. Easy down these steps. Yeah, right, take all it in. right. There. Uh, there you are. Uh, Speed and I will take charge of Mr. Buchanan, Barney, while you and Carlos bring what's necessary from the plane and then lock it up. Okay, Clint. What about the machine gun? Shall we dismount it and take it along with us? Yeah, and any other ammunition or guns that might be in the plane. We can pack it all on the camels. Well, do not worry, Clint. We'll take everything along that we'll need in our attack on the octopus and close up the plane as tightly as possible, too, so that it will not suffer from the elements. You hope. Uh, very well. I'll leave all that to you boys. I'll send some of the legionnaires to help you so that they can start loading the stuff on the camels immediately. In the meantime, I'll talk over our plans with Mr. Buchanan. Come along, sir. How soon are we leaving here, Clint? As soon as the things are on the camels. Okay, we'll work fast. 
Now, how can I aid you, Mr. Barlow? I'm... I'm so anxious to do something. Well, your work will come after we capture the octopus, Mr. Buchanan. But I wanted you on hand so that you could identify him positively. Well, I can do that all right. I have seen him unmasked. Darn few people have seen that. We didn't to bet, but then he was wearing a disguise. Well, Speed, the octopus never thought I would live to identify him. Hmm. And that was why he was careless. Yes, the best of them get overconfident. Oh, here's our tent, Mr. Buchanan. Once inside, we can make you more comfortable. Now, please, please do not give any more thought to me, Mr. Barlow. Uh, tell me your plans instead. Now, do you plan to attack the octopus base with the few men I have seen in this camp? No. Captain Minaldi in Regan is notifying all Legion outposts in the area to meet at a given point. I'll uh, just show you on this map here. All right. Now, you see, here is the meeting place. Yes. Rinaldi is giving the orders to march by short wave. Dependent on the post location. But he's timing them so that they should all meet by sunset tomorrow. And by that time, we should also have arrived at the octopus base. And uh, then? We shall first enter the camp in disguise. Destroy the death ray machine. And by that time, there will probably be plenty of fighting. That's where the legionnaires will come in. When you enter the octopus camp to destroy the death ray machine, do you expect to come out alive, Mr. Barlow? Well, we, we've been lucky so far. Yes, I know, but would it not be better for the legionnaires to enter the camp with you? No, because the octopus would have his death ray machine trained on them long before they could reach his camp. If they advance for an attack, they'd be wiped out. We've got to wreck that machine before anyone can do anything. Oh, I see. And you expect to reach the octopus camp before dusk tomorrow? If we're lucky, yes. We must reach the camp before dusk. My operator able to reach the outside by radio yet, Zabul? No, Octopus Master. The static is very bad. This wind that is rising must be causing the disturbance. Just as I am about to broadcast my ultimatum to the governments of the world demanding their surrender, must my hour of achievement always be postponed? He will let us know the moment he is able to get through, Master. And since you have all the power in your hands, there's no need for haste. I'm not so sure, Zabul. I've had no further word from Ragan concerning the fate of the secret police. As it is, I do not even know Sari's fate. So much time has passed since their last radio message that she must have been arrested for burning the plane. You forget. The radio is out of order. If we cannot get messages through to the outside, it stands to reason that she cannot reach us. She had plenty of time to reach us before the disturbances began. The signal from our radio operator. I'll talk to him. Yes, have you gotten through yet? No, Master. Not yet. But one of our operators has just come into camp. He rode fast all night to bring the news. A plane has been sighted halfway between Regan and our base here. A plane? But no doubt it was one of the Legion planes. No, Master. It did not bear their insignia. It landed near a caravan that the band of desert raiders our operator was in planned to attack. It carried a machine gun. Many of our raiders were badly wounded before they retreated, but fortunately our operator was unhurt. A machine gun? A bull. Sounds like the secret police. Sari did not stop them. But where could they have obtained another plane? Who knows? They seem able to accomplish miracles. But so can I. Let them fly here. I shall be ready for them. Any orders, Master? No. Continue re your attempts to reach the outside by radio. Yes, Master. And what are your orders for me? I had the premonition that my enemies were still alive, Zabul. But now that I know they are flying here, I feel much better. <laughs> You're... Death ray machine, Master. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Tell the workers to uncover it and prepare it for action. Also send a rider to the band of tribesmen gathered nearby. I want them here at the base in case the secret police send the foreign legion here to back up their aerial attack. An excellent idea. The machine shall be made ready immediately. Yes, yes. There is no telling when we will sight their plane if this sandstorm does not ground them before they reach here. Mm, it would be well if it did. Once grounded, they would never rise again. This storm is going to be a very severe one. Yes, but it must not rob me of my revenge, Zabul. I want the secret police to come here. Then I shall have the pleasure of watching them die. <laughs> I would not miss that for the world. Boy, listen to that wind. The closer it gets to nightfall, the worse it seems to get. Yes, we can be glad we're out of it. Yeah, this little enclosed house on top of the camel is swell stuff. 
I didn't think it'd be practical, but it keeps at least three quarters of the sand up. <laughs> Even if you do have to hold on at every step the camel takes. You needn't talk, kid. There's only supposed to be two in this rig, and you managed to squeeze in. Well, since we're getting so close to the octopus camp, I thought we ought to talk things over. Nothing for you to worry about, Speed. You're going to stay with Mr. Buchanan at a safe distance from the camp while the rest of us go on in. Oh, Order, man. Speed. And if something should happen that we don't come out, you return to Regan with Mr. Buchanan. And don't let your camel rest until you reach there. Oh, gee, no. Clint. <laughs> Nothing like that is going to happen. Keep a lookout for the octopus camp, Barney. I am, Clint. I take a squint through this curtain every now and then. But all I've gotten so far is an eye full of sand. I uh, hope the storm doesn't get much worse. The camels will refuse to go on. Gee, that wouldn't be so good. Captain Rinaldi has started the Legion reinforcements marching by this time, hasn't he? Yes, please. Well, now, Mr. Buchanan's liking his camel ride. He's got Carlos in his rig to hold him on. And at that, it's better than walking. If I was a camel, I wouldn't walk in this sandstorm. Uh, I hope they don't take your advice. The Legionnaires are having a hard enough time keeping them going. I'm going to take another peek ahead, Clint. Yeah, we should be there soon. Unless we've gotten off the track. It's getting dark. Gee, I wish this storm hadn't come up. It's good in one way, Speed. Hides our approach. The octopus may be edgy enough by this time to use that death ray machine on anything that comes within sight of his base. Clint, I've spotted the camp. What? It's dead ahead, and we're close to it, too. The sand lifted for a minute, and I just barely saw Good. it. Good. One chance in a hundred they've seen me. Yeah. Oh, stop the caravan, Lieutenant. Oh! I don't think they have seen us. They're all bedded down because of the storm. Are you going to leave me and Mr. Buchanan now, Clint? As soon as we can build you a little shelter, Speed, you'll be safe there until we return. Bonnie? Don't forget to get those grenades out for the death ray machine. I won't. I'll pass them out to all the boys. They can hide them in the Arab robes. Yes, and once we're in camp, don't forget you're an Arab merchant. Speak with an accent. Or, better yet, don't talk at all. Don't worry about me. Carlos will do the talking for us. He knows the dialect. Our business is to get where the death ray machine is kept as soon as possible. And then toss the grenades. Okay. What are we waiting for? Let's climb down. <laughs> <laughs> 